I don't know if you guys have ever tried adding pockets to anything before, but I spent forever like trying to figure out which way the fabric needed to be and do you pin this part of the pocket to the back part of the pant or the front part of the pant and how big of an opening do I want and should I pin it now or should I pin it later like it's a lot it took forever and to be honest now I'm exhausted but I know if I don't finish this tonight then I probably won't finish it. Like I'm not a start a sewing project and finish it later type of person. I start a sewing project and finish it right now or never finish it. <laughs> I'm Jessie with My Life is Jessie O. Today we are going to do a sewing project. As you can see here, I have my new Singer sewing machine. My sister has my old one now and I think she's actually gotten another new one. I picked up some new fresh supplies off of Amazon. This has everything that we need to sew. And I also even got the Taylor's chalk, which is definitely super essential. So I have my fabric here, that's some old fabric that I found in my box of fabrics. And then I also have some clothes here that I think that I can use to help cut the, the right shape and size. I mean, you can either make a sewing pattern or you can just grab clothes that you have that you want to kind of base off of and use them as the sewing pattern. So we're gonna do that today. I'm super excited. Make sure you subscribe down below really quick so that you don't miss another video I post weekly. Let's hop into the creative process. <gasps> ah! I think I want to make a matching two-piece set. If you guys have been watching my channel for a little while, you know that I love, love, love matching two-piece sets. And the idea of making one myself sounds like a lot of fun. You know, they're just super comfy. You can lounge around the house in them, or you can put on some cute shoes and accessories and wear them out to, you know, do whatever, go to the park, hang out with friends. I was going to do a pair of shorts. These are actually like my pajama shorts. I was gonna make them a bit longer, of course, so I could wear them out. But now I'm thinking a pant set would actually be amazing. These are some of my summery pants. So I have this spandex here that I also ordered off of Amazon. And I'm thinking I could do that across the back of the pants. And then in the front, instead of a drawstring and more pulling, I think that I will just do like a nice clean flat front. So it looks like a really nice finished tailored look. And then of course there are pockets. So we'll be putting pockets into our pants and it's just like a regular leg. So, and then for the top, we're not gonna make the top today, but if you subscribe, then you'll definitely see the video when I do make the top. But right now I change my mind all the time. I'm thinking about doing not like exactly this type of top, but like this idea with the ruffles, but I want to bring it up so it's more like a bandeau off the shoulder top with the ruffles. You see what I'm saying? And so that would be in the same fabric as the pant. It'd be a super, super cute look. Like take a moment and just imagine it. The bandeau ruffle top with the matching pants. Super cute. Whether I'll do buttons or not, I don't know. I really love the idea of either getting ribbon or creating ribbon from the fabric and having like little ties go down the front. So I think that that would be really cute. If there's a way to kind of incorporate that into the pants, maybe I'll think about that too. Maybe I'll put like a little bow at the ankle or something. I don't know. I love to change the design while I'm making the piece, which is why it usually takes forever but we don't have forever. I mean, we have as long as we want, but let's go ahead and set up so that we can get this fabric ready and trace the pattern from these pants onto this fabric. The first step though, is I will lay it out and kind of get an idea of where the pattern is and how I want it to look. And then we're going to have to iron it before we cut it out. Okay, let's go. So let's turn this fabric right side out. You see, this is the back side and then this is the right side. 
So let's take a good look at it. Let's set the pants aside. Let's take a good look at the fabric. All right. Okay, so we can see the pattern is kind of going like up and down like this. So we probably want the leg of the pant to go this way. I think I need to move the sewing machine out of the way. So I have it laying flat. And now I'm gonna grab the pants. And the pants, we need to fold them in half because then we'll get a good copy of both sides. And actually first we need to turn them inside out. That will help us see where all the seams are. So grab the seam here in the middle, fold it in half. Let's see. So we're going to have a front of the pant leg and we're going to have a back of the pant leg. So let's try to do it like this. So I have it laying flat. So we can kind of see how it would go with the fabric. I am starting to think, I'm trying to decide, do we think the top of the fabric, do we want the leaves to be going up? Probably. So the top of my pants should probably be laying this way so that the leaves are up on my pants when I'm finished with them as well. And so I would lay this like this here. And then is there anything else in the pattern so let's see. I don't know that there really is a definite middle of the pattern. It seems to have like a lot of ends of branches kind of along this way. I could line this up specifically on my pants so it falls a certain way, but I think it's okay to kind of just do this randomly, you know, just have like a fun, fancy, beachy feel. I'm gonna go ahead and fold the fabric back. And so now it would be the inside facing out just like the pants. So then ideally I could just lay the inside out pant here with it folded on its seams. I could trace around it with the chalk and then I could just cut it out and then do it again with the other leg. But before I do that, I do have to iron this fabric, otherwise it's not gonna be precise enough. And then we'll get like one leg that's longer than the other leg and we don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and iron this and then I'll be right back. Hey, so I just finished ironing the fabric. That took me forever. It's been like, I don't know, two or three years since I've ironed something. Anyway, so now I am going around the pair of pants that I already have. I'm using it as a pattern so that I can mark out with this chalk stick exactly where I need to cut the fabric so that I get a similar pair of pants. So now I am working on the back pant leg. This one will be bigger so that juicy booty will be able to make that squeeze. <laughs> I'm also planning to put the elastic band on the back side instead of a zipper so I have to make sure there's a the right amount of fabric.
Okay, so those are the lines that I drew on there with the chalk. You see I had to expand it several times on both of these, but I'm doing the outside line so that I get more width at the waist to account for the stretchiness that we want to have in the waistband. So it has to be a bit wider so that it can gather. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. I found this in the kit that I have. I know this is a cushion for you to put all the pins in, so we're gonna use that, but does anyone know what this is? It's like attached to it. Like, what is it? It feels like a bean bag. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get these pens out of here. Stick them into our little cushion and whatever this other little thing is, it will just hang on there. And we'll see. And then we can get to the fun part. Everything should match up. We're gonna lay it out and pin it again. And then all we have to do is sew it together and make a waistband and we'll be good. I wanted to do something kind of cute with the closure on the legs, but I don't have any pants like that, so I don't think I like pants like that, but the idea of doing it sounds fun. But maybe I'll just stay simple so that I actually wear them and I'm not like, ew, Laura, why did I do that to my pants for the sake of doing it? I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Would you do some kind of cool like little bow on the ankle or ruching or ribbon or something or would you just make a simple pant kind of like these here oh i forgot you have to do the pockets too these pins are like literally everywhere you have to use a lot So now we have all of our needles stuck in this little tomato and we have our little hanging strawberry. We're not sure what that is or what it's for, but hey, I guess it's cute. <laughs> so everything has been cut out. Oh wait, I didn't cut out the top. Let me do that real quick. We've got our booty. So this is one butt cheek. And we've got the other butt cheek. So all we have to do is grab the front of our pants, which is somewhere in this hodgepodge of fabric. And so I think this is one. So this is the front left. And so where's the back left? Not here. Back left here. So these two will go together. Aha! Aha! I mean, they're all gonna go together, but this is a pant leg. Why is it kind of turned funky? I'm not holding it the right way. There we go. And there we go. Gotta get these seams in touch. Okay. So it's not gonna line up perfectly, obviously because they're not gonna connect here, they're gonna connect here on the straight leg parts. So we have one leg. It would be this one here, left leg. And then we have the right leg here. So this is the butt, because it's a bigger one. And then the front is, where's the front? Down here. Front is right here. So there you go. Very nice. Back is a little bit bigger, like I wanted, so I can gather. It'll be perfect once we get it all together. So there are our two legs. And you see the inseams will go together and it's gonna make some cute pants. So it looks something like this. But we still have to do a lot. So stay with me, we're gonna get it together. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab a cup of tea, take a little bit of a break, and then we'll be back to sew these together and do pockets and a waistband. <laughs> I'll be right back. We 
I had to take a quick break to grab some tea. I got some Earl Grey, it's so good, one of my favorites. I took my puppy for a walk and just enjoyed some time outside. And then I came back in and I cut the pockets and then I sewed them, or I didn't sew them, I pinned them to each pant leg. So you can see there's a pocket and then I have all the pins down the side. You can probably see better here. Yeah, pinned it all down the side, all the way down. So now it's time for me to find some thread. I'll probably just use black thread or something because I don't think I have this color, we'll see. And get this sewn up or I could do something really interesting like a brighter color. I don't know, I think we'll match it. But I need to go ahead and sew these on the sewing machine and then we'll can work on the other components. All right, let's go. <laughs> waistband I haven't sewn it on yet but I pinned it and so there's the front I put the this elastic inside of there but I didn't have it gather so much on the front so that hopefully when it's on it'll just look smooth like that and then the back has the gathered waist which I think will work well I just tried to put this on and it wouldn't like go over my knees so hopefully I mean, it has pins in it, so hopefully it stretches and I can actually put this on. Otherwise, I'm going to have to somehow redo the belt. But anyway, everything looks good. We have the pockets. I put on the pleats, you know, there's pleats across the front and then another pocket. So it's coming together. I'm almost there. I'm not sure if everything's saved. Oh my gosh, it's a huge bite. I'm not sure if everything's saved. I just looked at my phone and I don't see any of the videos of everything I've been doing all day. So I'm sorry if it didn't save, but I will show you this. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna sew this all together and then we'll do a try on. Waistband. It's gonna be kind of tricky. It's gonna be really tricky actually. It has to be lined up and everything. It has to be perfect. Bring it out of the foot. Mm -hmm. I need to do the other side. I'm just kidding. Oh, why is the pocket like over here hanging out? On top of this pocket. What the heck? Oh. Ah, tension more and less. Let's see what I'm going to do. 
let's see how bad this was. Hmm. Did it actually work? I am impressed with myself. Nope, didn't. Haha. <laughs> Found a hole. There were just so many layers, I was like, there has to be a hole somewhere. Right there. Okay. So, there's a hole here on the plate, actually. to lay the pleats the right way. So, how are we going to fix this? Oh, this is actually the middle of the pan. So, I'm just going to pull it up and slow it down, I guess. It's actually the middle. So, where did the middle need to go? I got the waistband on there and now I'm going to finish the inseam or the seam it would be on the side of the pants making sure everything's lined up the right way all the seams are going to be in the right place and the height of them is right <laughs> This is getting exciting, you guys. I'm actually gonna finish this. Okay. Put down. Kind of line it up with the hem that I already did on the lower part of the pants so it just looks flawless. One full piece. I mean, barely, but a little bit. Let me show you. See, it's off just a little bit at the top. Probably won't notice. I'll try it on and see if it's a big deal. Let's do the other one and try not to make the same mistake. The pockets are already a little bit off. I noticed that too. But if you can't tell when I have it on, then I'll just leave it. This has a lot of pins in it. It's like excessive. so many in here. I'm trying to undo it so that I can line it up perfectly. And maybe 
maybe I should pin it back so that it doesn't slide like it did last time. So we got it apart, and now I'm going to put it together perfectly. make the same mistake twice. be sloppy, might have to take it out and redo it. The line just got a little hairy. But there's a lot of ruffling happening back here, so probably won't even be able to tell. Did I sew a needle into the fabric? Dang it. Oh, here it is. Okay, pinning it is key. This one is so much better. Like, so much better. It's perfect. Do you see that? Perfect. Even the leaves are lined up. Cute. The moment of truth. I haven't hemmed it, but you always try it on first before you hem it. I'll be right back. waistband came out nicely I told you I wanted to lay flat but still have a little bit of stretch so I could easily get into it we have a beautiful pockets here and then the back we've got the gathered back so it's easy to slip on which is great and there it is so the only major thing that I need to fix which I already knew I needed to was the gathering here kind of in the middle is a little bit awkward. So I just need to undo a bit of this and move some of the gathering over to the sides here rather than it being here in the middle so that it will be a bit more of a flat look in the front and then the gathering on the sides. But you do have to have some gathering if you want to have stretch in the waist, so. Gathering's fine, it just needs to be placed somewhere else. You see how all of the seams are lined up. Got a little window for the pocket. And the same thing on this side. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I don't know if I told you before, but this is my first time. I'm pretty sure this is my very first time making a pair of pants. It always scared me for some reason, but I wanted to try it with you all and look, we did it. And one night, one long evening. <laughs> 
Anyway, remember, I'm still going to make a really cute matching top. I have lots of fabric left. This is a scrap, but lots of fabric left. So make sure you like and subscribe so that I know that you guys are excited to tune in to make the top. I've had so many different ideas. I know I told you at the beginning of this video about like a little ruffle crop top, but now I was thinking about doing another technique, like something with this, like I could do this wrapped around the shoulder or I could do a diagonal kind of band, I don't know. There are limitless possibilities. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. I'll make sure I check those out before I make the matching top. And who knows, maybe your idea will make it into the final design. Until next time, I am Jessie and love you guys so much. Bye.